even I can get tired every now and then. Finally, a place to just relax. You are relatively new here, are you not? I have noticed you, but we have not spoken. Then allow me to introduce myself. I am Savos Arin, Archmage of the College of Winterhold. I am quite content to see nearly any aspect of magic explored and investigated here. But I do not and will not approve of any research or experiments that cause purposeful harm to your fellow members of the college. Are we clear? Ah, please don't tell me that another one of the apprentices has been incinerated. I have enough to no. deal with right now. We found something interesting. Very well. I trust that you wouldn't be here were it not significant. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Tolfdir normally looks after your little group, yes? Since he's apparently occupied, and I will need to see this discovery for myself, I think perhaps you should begin researching the subject. Speak with Urog in the Arcanium. See if he's aware of anything that matches your discovery. And good work. The next time you find yourself exploring Nordic ruins, Perhaps this will be helpful. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, hold on. Can what you, you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. Personally? No, not I. One of their number used to advise the Archmage when I was but an apprentice here. But that was a great many years ago. Before all the members of the Order were called back to the Isle of Arteum, and it disappeared entirely. Oh. I've seen documents dating back to the late Second Era. Beyond that, it's hard to say. Events in the last several hundred years resulted in a significant loss of our history, I'm afraid. The Great Collapse, as it has come to be known. An unfortunate natural disaster that ravaged the area. The college fared far better than the city of Winterhold, but it was not left untouched. No one is sure of the cause. Some believe the eruption of Red Mountain had far-reaching consequences that were only felt years later. I know there are some who have blamed the college, said that we were responsible. I assure you this is not the case. I hope not. The sea of ghosts practically came alive. No one was expecting it. Monstrous waves battered the shore for weeks on end. Winterhold was ancient and weathered, but it couldn't withstand the sea's fury. Entire districts of the city were lost overnight. The waves receded in time, but the damage was irreversible. Most residents of Winterhold abandoned what was left of the city. The college survived, and so here we remain. Not often, no. Some risks must be taken, to be sure. I am simply trying to avoid untimely deaths. We also must make an effort to avoid worsening what Skyrim thinks of us. Okay. Now, if you'll excuse me. So, wait, what? Are you seeing this? Stone wall, this requires a key. What's behind there? What is behind that? I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Eleanor, Are we clear? I know what you want. Word travels fast around here. 
Discovered some big mystery, huh? Well, you don't even need to ask. No, I don't have anything for you. Not anymore, anyway. What happened? I said not anymore. Orthorn stole a number of books when he ran off to Felglow Keep to join those summoners. Some kind of peace offering. I think one of those volumes may have had some relevant information. If you want them, you'll have to talk to Orthorn. He was an apprentice here at the college. Not very skilled, but got involved with a group of mages who took a liking to him. When they left, he took off after them. Stole supplies and books from the college. I suppose as a way to ingratiate himself. Let's just call it a difference of opinion with the college. They were interested in research that goes outside the bounds of what the college allows, so they were persuaded to leave. Huh. Not enough to bother with. Archmage Aaron's approach to these things is just to let them sort themselves out. Although now it looks like you'll be doing the sorting. Good luck with that. Huh. When we take over this place, we're adding Daedric artifacts to the collections. If you have a moment, could you help me with something? I need your help with something. Something private. Uh, not yet. I still need some help. If you can spare the time. Can you... Can you possibly help Jazargo? It is difficult. Jazargo has seen that Torfdir likes you. You must be very skilled with magic, yes? Jazargo is working hard, but cannot do it alone. Can you help with this? Jazargo has worked hard on learning new spells, trying new things. This will make Jazargo stand out as a mage. But Jazargo works so hard, there is no time to test these new spells. If you help with the testing, this will make learning easier. Jazargo will give you scrolls. You will use them and report the results. This is a good plan, no? You tell Jazargo when you are ready. Ha, you can resist, can you? Let's see. This one, I think. Jazargo has designed it to be an excellent flame cloak with a twist. It is especially potent against the undead and should burn them to a crisp in no time. Jazargo gives you plenty of these scrolls, so you try them and return when you can say whether they work. <laughs> okay. Jazargo awaits word of how well his scrolls work. I'm okay with the dark, but I've spent more than my share of time in caves already. Uh. All right, let's go. Uh. Oh. Honey, I'm sorry for hitting you with Jazargo's flame spells in Haldur's Cairn. I was always taught to avoid these types of ruins. I think I see why now. <laughs> 